to the world street performance. Yeah. Report back to you later. <laughs> okay, Ray, don't lean forward when I do this, okay? Or you'll have another scar to match on the other side, right? <laughs> if you cough, twitch, I may end up changing your religion. <laughs> Are you Jewish? Do you want to be? Not yet, you might be. I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> One real sword. You're on the beer. Today. Okay, hang on, hang on. We're not finished with it yet. Do me a favor. Reaching very close, very carefully into the glass. Just pick out one piece of glass. One piece. Carefully, carefully. Now turn around and just run the glass over your face. Nothing will happen because this is magic. No, no, no. Here, watch. I'll take that. Watch your hands there. That's one sharp piece of glass, yeah? Let's give it up for Ray. Thanks very much, Ray. Woo! And here, here's a DVD, loads of magic tricks. You go home, report the mates, no problem. Yeah. Cheers, Ray. Okay. How hot is it today? Yeah. Oh, my God. It's like doing a Ray Mere survival course here. <laughs> I'm going to have fun clothes. Woo! Thank you, people. <laughs> Do you want more? Yeah. A four-year-old. Look at this guy up here. Look at this dude up here. Look at the stoner up the top. Hey! Yeah. Okay. Just another Irish man in the park. That last bit kind of freaked out, didn't it? Look at the kids with this phone. Put that away, will you? So how do you walk on broken glass? Well, it's kind of like walking on burning coals. It's all in here. You ever jump into a pool or into a river and you start swimming across and you suddenly go, oh my God, and there's that moment of panic and you kind of think, am I going to make it to the other side? You're physically strong enough to make it to the other side, but it's the panic that'll kill you. Same with walking on broken glass or swallowing a sword. How do you swallow a sword? Well, you've got three sphincters in your body. One here, one there, and one we're not going to talk about. The trick is, you've got to open two of them at the same time. The most important thing is to make sure it's the right two. <laughs> <laughs> Any chance of some water? Can I grab that bottle of water, Steve, would you mind? Thanks a million. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Steve, the man who makes that happen Woo! over here. A pick three. <laughs> I just don't like the taste of carrots. <laughs> Just got the wet the whistle. <laughs> okay, I'm pushing it too far again. I'm going <laughs> Shut up, kid. Here we go. Now that I've got you all here, I'd like to talk to you about Jesus. Kids, don't try this at home. Wait till you go to school, you'll get a much better reaction. The other kids will be cheering and... <laughs> Call 911, will you tell them Jack's done it again? <laughs> now for the sword. I'm going to cut through the round of applause after the glass and we'll do the sword. <laughs> I've never done this hungover before. And I had a kebab just before I came up. So keep your cameras ready. It's just polite to lubricate. It took you a while to get that guy, didn't it? When this hits the bottom of my stomach, I expect to hear the applause that I think I deserve. When it hits the bottom of... Stop, stop! Just clap along with the rest of the people, madam. Thank you. I'm on a slope.
going to need an oil change. <laughs> hey, do you want to see one more thing? Yeah. you want to see one more thing? Okay, give me a second to get off this. This is the hardest part of getting it open. Look at the sole of my feet. Hang on. Show my girlfriend has to do it Your girlfriend already told me. <laughs> I said I was a ventriloquist as well. We need to get one more person out of today's audience. We're going to make them into the star of this show. You know, we're going not for a kid. We're going for a, we're going for a grown up here. So let's see if we can find somebody. This man here holding his arms. Hoping that I desperately won't pick him. Can we give him a round of applause, people? Take off the shades for a second, Graham. A lot of ventriloquists, they spend a small fortune getting their puppets made up. Graham, I think if you're going to do it, you should do it with the puppet you make yourself. So between you and me, we're going to make a puppet. Check this out. This is my, uh, it's a Halloween mask. I cut the top portion out of it. And then this is a brake cable I got off my eight-year-old nephew's bike. He doesn't know about that, but he will when he gets to the bottom of the hill. <laughs> now look at this, Graham. If you squeeze that bit, the mouth opens and closes. Graham, it's got these straps on it. And I was thinking, just for a laugh, would you put it on? Have a bit of fun? Oh, just for me. Okay, here we go. Graham, I don't know what games you're playing at home, but most people will face this way when they're putting on the mask. <laughs> There's no cue wall to bite down on, you know what I'm saying? Okay, there you go. Sam, man, if we can just take the wand. Don't do it. Wait. <laughs>